How's it going you wonderful people it's Jay and in today's video we're going to be showing you how to allow your viewers to use their channel points to automatically play videos, music and pictures on your stream. It's super cool and we're going to show you how. Streaming on Twitch is always super fun. Whether you're playing a game or whether you're doing something creative, there's always someone to tune into. But what about making your streams a little bit more interactive, allowing your viewers to have a little bit more control over your OBS? Now, you could be in the middle of a game like Mario Kart and chat could use their channel points to spawn a giant chicken on your screen. They could even use their channel points to automatically play a video, or even change the background completely. There's just so many cool and interesting ways of letting viewers interact with your stream using channel points and we're going to show you how to set it up in under five minutes. Let's go. So how does it all work? Well we're going to be using a system called Better Points and what Better Points does it allows you to connect Twitch to OBS and use channel points to control things in OBS. So if you go to the website better-points.com and once you sign up You'll be given access to this little dashboard and what this dashboard does is it kind of listens to Twitch and anytime someone redeems a channel points redemption it sends that through to OBS. Really really simple but in order to do that you're going to need a little plugin and the plugin is called OBS WebSocket which allows the Better Points website to control parts of OBS. It's available for Windows, Mac and Linux. Links are below. Just grab that download and install it and it will be added to your copy of OBS. Once you've installed the WebSockets plugin, head over to Tools and then you should have something here called WebSocket Server Settings. Click on that and then you will get something that looks a bit like this. Make sure this is ticked. Enable WebSocket Server to make sure it all works. And then there'll be a little thing called Server Port which defaults to 4440. Make sure you make a note of that number. If you want, you can add a password. It's not essential, but this is the most important thing. So make sure you have that server port written down, 4440. Right, back to the Better Points website. So if you go to the dashboard and look at the bottom left corner, you should have something that says OBS status connected. If it's disconnected or not quite working, click on the cog and make sure this number 4440 matches what you've got in OBS. Hit save and it should all be connected. And what happens now is this website will continuously listen to any channel points event and then pass them through to OBS. Right, so now that we've got everything connected, let's try make a channel points reward. So I'm gonna drag in a video. You could drag in anything you like. It could be a video, it could be a GIF, it could be a sound, anything you like. I'm just gonna pop in there. There's the moon from Majora's Mask. I'm gonna quickly rename that as well, so make sure you have a good naming convention as well so I'm just going to rename that as reward dash moon um, so yeah so I've got the reward there called moon and then you can show and hide it like this so the moon will appear and what the channel points will do is essentially show and hide this video so I'm going to show you how to do that on the better points website right so head back to the better points website and click on OBS events and then click on create now an OBS event is a series of steps that OBS will run when someone redeems your channel point. And then you can have it run on certain scenes if you like in OBS, but I'm just going to leave it as all scenes. And if you want your viewers not to spam it, make sure you put a cooldown, so you can put 300 seconds for a 5 minute cooldown period. And also if you click on Asynchronous, what that does is it allows you to run multiple rewards at the same time. So now the cool part, actions. So if I click on this and then click on action type, you've got various different types. So you can have your viewers change scenes. So if you like, for example, if you've got a scene where your camera is upside down, you can do that. You can return to the start scene, your intro scene. You can have a pause, which is useful if you're playing videos. You can set source properties and visibility. So what I'm gonna do is click on source properties and then I'm going to find my scene. So the moon was on the live scene and then I'm gonna find my moon. So select source and I found my moon. So that should be the same name in OBS. If you can't find it here, just give the website a bit of a refresh. It might need a few refreshes to pick it up. And then here's so the super important part, so visible. So now when it gets to this step, my moon will become visible. And then I'm gonna add another action and then that is going to be a pause one. So, you know, I'm gonna pause it for, let's say, 
10 seconds or something like that. And then I'm going to add another action. And then the last action will be for me to hide the moon. So I'm going to find the moon again. So there's my moon. And then make sure this bit's unticked. So what we've got here is it's going to show the moon. It's going to keep everything as it is. And then it's going to pause for 10 seconds. And then it is going to hide the moon because I've unticked it. So make sure you remember this name, that's quite important as well. Event name Majora, save event. So I've got all sorts of events here. So I've got big chicken, which, which kind of spawns a giant chicken, Bowser, all sorts of interesting events here. So once you've set up your event, go to rewards and then create a reward like this, Majora Moon. Very exciting. And you can add a description here, which your viewers will see when they click on the channel points dock and the cost as well so you know how much is it going to cost in channel points for to redeem it background color things like that so basically the same kind of setup as you've got on twitch but you have to go through the better points website to make it all work if you want an image for your channel points you have to do that in twitch once you've saved it on the better points website so you can limit the number of redemptions on the stream so if you don't want people to keep on doing it you can add a number per stream you can even do it per user so like you know once per user per stream that kind of thing. Um, you can even have you can even have it only running on certain games. So, for example, if I've got this Zelda-themed one and I only want it only want it to run on Zelda games, I can do that as well. Um, and this is the most important part. So, what is it going to run in OBS? So, I'm going to click on a single OBS event, and then I'm going to click on where's my moon? Where's my moon? Majora. There we go. So, when someone runs, summon Majora's moon channel points it's going to trigger this OBS event Majora okay so now we're back in OBS one thing to note is to make sure that your rewards are all hidden by default because the channel points is going to show it so I'm going to click on this and then I'm going to find my moon here we go redeem Ta-da! what that does is it automatically plays you don't have to do anything you could be in the middle of Mario Kart and someone could spawn this moon and that's it. So there we go, a quick little guide on using better points to add a new layer of interactivity on your stream. We totally want to see all your crazy ideas. Let us know your Twitch handle in a comment below. And if you found this video useful, be sure to hit the like button. Be sure to definitely check out better points. Links are below. If you've got any questions, be sure to leave a comment or reach out to the better points team over on their discord. And for more streaming and OBS tips, be sure to check out our playlist. We've got tips on setting up OBS, streaming for the first time, capture cards and all that kind of good stuff. Links to the playlist are below as well. If you want to see more geeky gaming and Nintendo videos, you may want to subscribe. Before you go on your big adventure into the streaming world, be sure to check out our exclusive merch, Geeky and Gaming Designs, voted for by you. Links are in the description below. Thank you so much for all your support. And there we go, using better points to automate your channel points and create something unique for your stream. I hope that helps you guys out, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.